Well, what's up guys, Jason up New Year's Revolution in the car. On a work day. On a Wednesday, on a Thursday. We got some car, car visits to do today, some phone calls. It's not for a few minutes, so I figured I'd have a chat with you. We're not going to update any health stuff. I'm I'm doing the best I can. I'm good. Food going in. As much as I can tolerate. Medicine still taking that consistently. I don't know. Am I getting better? I don't know. Can I grab a can I grab a double cheeseburger right now and not even a double cheese? Can I grab, you know, even a piece of pizza right now and just nah, and just chomp on it? No. But we'll see. <clears throat> the WWE has been sold to a company called Endeavor. This is a company that owns the UFC. So essentially, we're gonna get a merger uh, of sorts. I don't know how deep, I don't know how active or apparent or obvious, but we have a merger between the UFC and WWE. Uh, do we care? Do we care anymore? Does it matter? Um, it doesn't matter to me at all. Uh, it's a state of the times, I think. It's a, it's a it's a product of aging, I guess. And things are different in 2023 that they were in 1983, 1993, maybe even 2003. So let's look at this. What does it mean? I don't even, honestly, I don't even know what it means. Because, you know, as of now, Vince McMahon is back in charge, apparently. Even rewriting Raw, if the if the reports are true or to be believed. You know, rewriting Raw, you know, getting getting announcers to not say the buzzwords anymore you know, medical facility instead of saying hospital, uh, title instead of, you know, championship belt. Obviously with Vince in charge, you're not going to hear the word wrestling on the show. So that's all the same. Uh, Nick Khan is still a part of, you know, still has his role. Triple H apparently still has his role. So I don't know what a sale even means, what it does. I don't know. Are we going to see some cross-promotion stuff between WWE and UFC? I mean, you, you already do with Brock and Ronda Rousey. There's one thing that I hate, you know, that I hate the most is bringing MMA into professional wrestling and expecting us to believe it. It's so annoying, you know, Ronda Rousey doing an arm bar in UFC and snapping somebody's elbow or getting somebody to tap out in... in three seconds once she locks it on and then using the arm bar in WWE and it's reversed or defended by, you know, a person with absolutely no actual fighting training. Very stupid. I, I hate when they do MMA crossover into WWE or into anything else. Kyle O'Reilly, you know, doing MMA kicks and wearing a mouth guard. I just think it's stupid. We've been exposed enough to MMA to know how real it is. We've been exposed to wrestling to know how not real it is. And you can't cross those two worlds. It's just silly. It just looks silly. And it makes, you know, so in Vince's decrepit mind, uh, it makes our wrestlers look superhuman that Ronda Rousey can tap actual fighters in two seconds. But Alexis, Alexa Bliss defends the, the, the arm bar. It's stupid. Back to the sale. 
look, uh, wrestling, you know, changed for me a long, long time ago. The, the impact that it had in my life and the, the importance, the um, untouchableness, the iconicness um, died a long time ago. Died a long time ago. Died around 94. For WWF, anyway, 94. Uh, and has not come back. Has not come back at all. Um, so if, if the WWF was sold 30 years ago, <laughs> you know, our heads would have exploded. If it was sold 20 years ago, our heads would have exploded. The Attitude Era, Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know. If, if, if something like this had happened back then... It would have it would have blown our minds, but now, eh, you know, who cares? You know, I think I think selling it to a company that's already in um, the sports business and the entertaining business is a good idea. Um, I don't know who else was in the running. I thought that I heard that ESPN, Disney maybe. There was some group in Saudi Arabia that was talking about buying it. You know, whatever. So we've got now this combat sport package with Endeavor and UFC and WWE. Um, you know, the Endeavor owns 51%. WWE shareholders own 49%. Vince is still in power. What does it actually mean? They're shopping for a new TV deal. You know, what does any of this actually mean? Does it does it mean that the product is going to look different on TV? Does it mean, uh, you know, WWE certainly isn't going to get a new name? Um, you know, there'll probably be different advertising on the show. But what does it actually mean? Does it mean anything at all? You know, there might be there might be pushes for more um, internet, social media type stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it means. It, it probably means nothing for us. Now, I think once people get rolling with this and Endeavor fully takes over, then there's likely a chance that we see some firings and layoffs and things like that in the office, but we don't know those people anyway, except McMahon and Triple H. You know, Shane's already out, Stephanie's already out, which is obviously, you know, a pre-educated move. But who else do we know? We don't know anybody else in the office. Who cares? Um, <clears throat> and I'm kind of disappointed at how much I don't care because it, it almost kind of solidifies my total lack of interest in this product anymore. Um, I did watch w I did watch WrestleMania. Some of it. That's not true. I watched most of night one. And did not watch the tag team match, which was kind of the match I wanted to see the most. The um, Usos match. I didn't watch. I didn't watch any of night. I, I watched. Uh, who was night two? I didn't watch any of night two. Was Seth Rollins and Logan Paul Seth, uh, night two? I don't know. I saw that match. Uh, I didn't see Reigns and Cody. And, you know, for half a second during WrestleMania, I thought, let me watch Monday Night Raw. And then for another half a second, I said, let me DVR all of it. Let me DVR Raw. Let me DVR SmackDown. Let me DVR Impact. And just watch it and see how I feel. I didn't. 
sadly, we are five episodes behind Dynamite. We have stopped watching Rampage altogether. I have thousands of dollars of wrestling figures in little bins behind my couch. Two real scale rings at $129 a piece. And my children don't care about AEW anymore. So let's talk more about that than the sale of WWE, because I don't care. I don't care and I don't think it means anything. Raw is still going to be on. SmackDown is still going to be on. Michael Cole is still going to be on. You know, it's fine. But I think that in my family, in my household, my children, we started off hardcore with AEW. So the children's mother has odd viewpoints on stuff. And she didn't want Liam watching wrestling at all, of course. And of course, he did. And we watched some WWE, we played the video games, he would watch highlights and clips on YouTube. And this is all before he was officially watching. This is probably when he was like seven. And um, he got into it. He got into it. And he knew, he knew the people. And then AEW came out and I kind of said, oh, this is more family oriented. And, you know, it's got Chris Jericho and my kid liked Fozzie. And so we're like, oh, you know, she gave, she gave the, you know, the blessing for us to watch AEW. And he loved it. He loved it from the start. And I was so happy about that. We had such a great time. I started buying figures like a madman. He was super excited about it. He was, when I took him to, uh, I just took him for the first time. Uh, we went to AEW Live here, a dynamite taping. The kid was dancing in the aisles when the Young Bucks music hit. It was, it was very emotional for me because of you know, my love for it when I grew up. But it faded. It's it's faded. And I and I just think it's because he, you know, the kids are into so much other stuff that is so insignificant. YouTube, shorts, Fortnite, Minecraft, YouTube, YouTube, and YouTube. That's it. And so when Wednesday comes, and I'm like, hey, our, you know, Dynamite's on tonight. He's like, okay, yeah, we could, yeah, maybe we could fast forward some of the stuff. He doesn't, he doesn't care about interviews anymore. He doesn't care. He never cared about, like, the women's matches or anything. He's such a, a sexist boy. Doesn't care about the women's matches. And then eventually he just stopped caring about like mid card stuff. And now he's he's out. So we've got five unwatched episodes of Dynamite. I pay $79 a month for stupid YouTube TV just for TNT and TBS. Literally, that's the only time our YouTube TV is used is to record and watch Dynamite. So I'm about to drop it and that's a big that's a big move on my part. I'm about to drop um, YouTube TV uh, because we're not watching our we're not watching wrestling anymore. Um, when they come to Rochester or Buffalo in the summertime, we're not gonna go. You know, I try to get really good tickets and there's four of us, so it's it's like 400 bucks. and that's just the tickets. I go nuts with souvenirs and merchandise, food, drink. Well, maybe not me anymore, but you know, it's a, it's a six, $700 night. I'm not going to do it anymore. So I have to grieve that a little bit and, and I'm okay with it. You know, I, I know this is taking a, a different spin than WWE sale, but it all kinds of goes together. 
it all kinds of goes it, it goes together it were you know it, it all falls under the we don't care umbrella i guess AEW is still very entertaining, but here's here's why I know that I'm kind of out of it is because if the kids choose to not watch it anymore, that's fine. I still have five episodes to go through. I can watch it privately, you know. I can watch it from start to finish and watch it with a smart mind, you know, a, a smart mind. I could still get some pleasure out of it, but guess what? Come 9, 9.30 when I'm on the couch and by myself and ready to watch TV, I'm not putting on AEW. I got to watch WWF February 9th, uh, February 16th or 19th, 1985, the Philly House Show. And then next week is the uh, Piper and Hogan in MSG with Cindy Lauper. So, or I got to finish my Twilight Zone 80s series so I can review it, review it with you guys and, and start a new show. So I'm not going to watch Dynamite uh, privately on my own. And so that's why I told myself, don't don't record Raw and don't record SmackDown. You're not going to watch it. Because um, it's over. You know? I think it's over. Is that weird? No, I don't know. Maybe. But uh, sale of WWE, who cares? WWE WrestleMania. I didn't even watch night two. So is that a, is that a who cares? I think I think it is. I think it is. You know. But that's okay because I am flooded with footage from uh, from you know all the way up to 1994. Now. I have footage up to 99, 1994. I stopped with Raw 94. That's the last tape trading I did back in the day. Raw 94 is my last bit of footage. Do I stop there? Do I stop there? I don't think I'm going to stop there. With the Peacock Network and everything on, um, everything from 94 on, I might watch. I might revisit. Because all at that point it is is Raw and SmackDown. That's all I'll watch. And then, like, didn't SmackDown start in, like, 97 or 98 or something? 99, I think it did. Um, I might watch... I might watch WWF 95 and 96. I think I will. So, I... I you know... I'm not going to grieve the loss of wrestling. I'm not going to grieve the disinterest of the kids in wrestling. I am going to grieve the thousands of dollars of action figures that I have. Um, I can't sell them. I can't, like, you know, interests come and go. I'm not going to sell my kids' figures. But, like, they're just sitting behind the couch and I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's a weird 20-minute rant about lots of different topics. That's all. Where are you at with wrestling? Do you care? And if you do care about WWE, how? It's so different. You know, the camera sh the camera shots are, are seizure causing. Um, what keeps you interested? Let me know. Good night now.